Alright, so I thought it was time to finally check out the word super. Now this is a keyword, so if I was to type it in, it turns blue. And what it means is very simple. As you saw for the previous tutorials, when you inherit from a class, it creates a border kind of thing in there that it only checks if it can't find a if it can't find a method. Okay? So if we were to go out to my inheritance here and create in death method two and message box must go up here, obviously. Inherited method two is running. Okay. Now what we can do in we can go to method two here and we can go my class method two running. Okay, and now super. And what that does is it goes up to the most recent class, this one here, and it tries to find method two. And as you can see here, we have method two available. So what it's going to do is it's going if I go down here and I go to method two, get rid of that one. My class dot method two, it's going to come in here, it's going to print out my class method two running. And then it's going to hit super. Super's like, okay, so you want me to go up a level. And so that's what it's going to do. It's going to go here, up a level. It's going to check in here. And here's method two. It's found it. Great, let's run it. And then it's going to run the method. And then once that method is finished, it's going to come back to where it was before. So I could do another message box must copy here if I wanted to. And call it finish. Okay. And I can do the exact same in here if I want to. I can also go super in here. But since I don't actually have a method 2 available up here, it's probably going to throw me an arrow. So, we'll run that as is. So it's going to play method 2. Yep, cool. Play it. My class method 2 running. Inherited method 2 is running. Finish. In the most very basic sense, that is all super does. And it is also calling a method above. So if I was to go up to here and go to method 2 and type in um, x, y, z, which is very generic things. Now if I was to run super, wrong number of arguments. Because as we learnt a couple, uh, when we did method arguments, unless these have equal signs next to them, yeah, you have to pass in the argument. So, we can go here and go 0, 1, Two, and since they're not being used, it doesn't really matter what I put into it. Run it. And it works just fine. So really all super is is just another way of calling a method that is in another class you've inherited from. So method 2, super here, it goes up to this one and finds method 2. If I was to put super in here, it would go off into this class and look for method 1. But since I don't have method 1 here, it's going to throw me an error. And I can do the exact same for this class as well. So method 4, I can go super. Now I can go up here and I can go up here and type in uh, death method 4. And then go code goes here. And that's really all it does. I can use super as many times as I want to go up a level and up a level. But unless I'm inherited from a class, there's really not much point. Okay, so that's all Super does, and you will see this be used in the default scripts, and sometimes when I go into a bit more script-worthy things. Okay, but all you need to know for now is all Super does is, is just goes up a level. That's all it does, alright?